Hi there, my name is Mike Hughes. This morning you may have received two emails from us, one from our old system and one from our brand new released system. The reason that we've switched over is because our new site offers more features and benefits, things that our buyers have been asking for. One of the main differences is the ability to search on bathrooms. For example, our old site and most other national sites only allow you to search for one plus, two plus, or three plus bathrooms. Our site now allows you to search for one and a half or two and a half bathrooms as well. So it's much more in line with inventory that you'll find in Massachusetts. Also, our data is now updated every 15 minutes directly from the multiple listing service. So you're going to see listings as soon as they hit the market, just about as fast as agents do. In fact, if you'd like to set your search up to notify you the instant a listing comes on the market, you can do that. You don't have to wait until your daily email. Now, of course, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on some of the benefits and the ways that we use our site, but if you have any questions, feel free to email us or call us or text message us anytime. We're happy to help. And here's a quick overview on how to use our search site. Now, of course, you have the search options up here, so if you want to learn more about financing or connect with one of our agents, it's very easy to do. But we know that most people are searching for property, so you can actually type in an address if you know the property's address that you're trying to pull up or you can just type in the city. Let's start a general search for the city of Newton. And you can see that immediately it's going to pull up every listing for sale in Newton. We can see that there are 111 properties available for sale but obviously the person that's looking for 700 probably isn't going to be also looking for a three million dollar property. So this is where it gets fun. We can adjust the price Let's look for everything from, say, 650 up to 1.2 million. Now, of course, we want to restrict our bedrooms because I only need a house that has three or more bedrooms and at least one and a half bathrooms. So you can see that the searches are filtered in real time as the search is updated. One of the other things that you can do is filter by a number of different things, such as price days on market, square footage, year built, and bedrooms. So let's go with the most expensive houses first and then filter our way down. Now as we're looking through, we can easily see that some of these houses might be a good fit, so I'm going to favorite them. You just simply click on the heart and it will be saved as a favorite for you. Other houses you might not be sure about, so we can click through on that search through the photos and decide yes this is a good property for me I'm gonna favorite that that property has also now been added to our favorites we can see some of the specifics about the property it's a three bedroom two bath 2500 square feet just under a quarter of acre and then the cost per square foot this is the MLS description and then some of the more uh, specific details about the property as well as the map. Let's go back to our search. Now the grid is okay, but I want to search a specific area. So I can simply click on this little icon up here and it will switch me over to a map view. Now we can see the properties that fit our search criteria. They're in blue. And then we can also see the properties that we have favorited. So you can click on any of these little dots and easily get to your listing. And of course you can favorite that again. But as I'm looking at the properties, I realize I want to restrict them a little bit more. So let's click on the more button and look at some of the other options that we can restrict properties by. I need at least two parking spaces. I'd also like to have an attached garage. In fact, I want an attached garage, but don't show me any garages that have the garage space under. I know that sometimes those houses get water. Let's look for anything that is up to 30 days old on the market. Older properties might have something wrong with them. I only want the new stuff. So as we search through, we can see some of these other listings available. Now this search is exactly what I'm looking for. So what we can do is click on Save Search. 
call it anything that you'd like. I'm going to call this the perfect house. Now you can choose whether or not to receive email alerts and how quickly you'd like to see them. Now if I'm not planning to move for another year or two and I just want to keep an eye on the market, I might click on weekly or even monthly. Most people use daily, but this is my perfect search, so I want to be updated immediately. So as soon as a new listing hits the market, I want to know about it. Now I have my saved search. It's that easy, and you can update your criteria anytime. Now one caution, the more you restrict your search, the fewer houses you're going to see. So unless you're absolutely sure that you need two parking spaces, we usually recommend that you don't restrict the search criteria there. Now, if you want to look at what you favorited, you can click up here on the right, click on favorites. After looking around, I realized that I don't want a ranch house anymore. So I can just unfavorite that and it will be removed from my favorites. After talking with my wife, I realized that she's not interested in my favorite houses either. So we're going to go back to our original search and we're going to delete this one. Now I'm only going to be receiving email notifications for this search that we previously set up. If at any point that you wanted uh, to stop your emails or delete that search, you can do that too. Now as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us. We're happy to help. Thanks for joining the site. We'll talk to you soon.